this was fun. So sometimes as a designer, you want constraints. Actually, all the time. It's like, don't give me all the options. I need you to, to, to rein it in a little bit, you know? And so these, we, this was a concept I came up with because I saw a shift towards really small devices, uh, some for kind of smoking blunts um, and others for concentrates. They'd use, you know, using very small bangers and things. And so I was trying to figure out a way to cross both of those, you know, needs, right? To, to get them both in there and also make it extremely affordable. And so, what happens is you're only left with a couple options. Like there's with glass, there's only so many things you can do to it, and uh, each step maybe can make it more expensive the longer the process. So you start to go like, okay, what if we take out all of all but three moves? You only got three things you can do. And so these objects, these these three pieces, were what can we do with almost nothing? And so it was like a, a very simple shape, a very straight mouthpiece, and fitting. And I'm, and I'm actually, this is probably one of the, the the things I've designed that I'm probably the most proud of because of how much we did with almost nothing. So we have a, you know, just a simple cone, a simple sphere, you know, and kind of a simple tube. And we decided to, or I decided that um, even if it's the most simple object, there has to be one distinct mark that is intentional, meaning like it's not just going to be a round ball with a, a little mouthpiece. It's not just going to be a tube with a, with a joint sticking off. There has to be one in mark of intent, even if it's going to be the most simple thing. And for for us, that was you know the crisp, this crisp line straight at the sphere, this flat spot here. This guy was that same flat spot where the mouthpiece piece attaches. You know. And with this guy, it was this slight rise to the flat spot right at the bowl. And there are little things that not many people notice, but uh, your hands do, and you build a relationship with those little things over time. And uh, that is kind of the most important part for me, It's these little details that you don't notice and, until you maybe pick up something without them. It's the subtleties. Making a, a, a water piece that... Uh, is so small can be challenging uh, and so you know working with uh, manufacturers to uh, fine-tune exactly the diameter and length of the down stems to make sure that um, you're not just sucking up water with these things was was a little tricky um, and uh, little little water tests here and there to make sure that the length of the mouthpieces were correct but uh, really the kind of the neat thing was is that we had so many restrictions and so many rules to to um, what we were able to do that they pretty much went very smoothly. There were very minor adjustments. So I think most of the roadblocks, most of the challenges were just setting out those boundaries up front and then everything else kind of filled itself in. You know, this is, this is something that uh, I would use. This is so versatile. You know, it's so compact. This is one of those that uh, while well, at the beginning I had a specific market in mind, the people that kind of wanted a, a small water piece for a blunt, even a smaller group that uh, would use a very, very small piece for concentrates. It's just for the grab customer, man. <laughs>